Hello, welcome to Wycliffe Library in Tween Time with Miss Lori, Adam, and Nicole. Today we are going to do a Tween Time track. But actually, anybody can do it. Um, let me show you what we have here for you to do our shaving cream painting. First thing you're going to need, some shaving cream. I've used poster board that I've cut up to fit a pan, a baking pan. So if you've got a baking pan, um, that's probably the easiest thing because you're going to fill it up with shaving cream. You want something with an edge. Something stiff, I have a piece of cardboard here, uh, and this is to scrape your shaving cream once you're through. Paint, we are using acrylic. Some sort of stick to swirl your paint. And I think that's about it. Um, so I'm going to have Nicole and Adam start, and as they are doing it, I'll describe to you what they're doing. And Maybe while you're watching it, after you've assembled all of your materials, you can watch us and, and do it too. So if you guys want to get started, Adam, you want to go first with your shaving cream. So what you want to do is you want to fill up your tray with shaving cream. Make sure you fill the whole thing. While Nicole is filling her tray, Adam is going to just smooth his shaving cream so that it covers the entire bottom of the pan. You don't want it to be lumpy in some sections and not in others. So just make sure you smooth it out as best you can. It's kind of like frosting, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe. But just don't eat it. Right. Move it all out, and then they have chosen their particular colors that they want to use for their swirl painting, which they will glob onto here very shortly. Looking good. It smells so clean and fresh in here. <laughs> All right, Adam's got a bigger pan than Nicole, so it's taking a little bit longer. All right, so on the poster board, you know, sometimes you have a flat side and a shiny side. We're going to suggest using the not shiny side, so what they call a flat surface, um, when you push it down. So make sure that the shiny, then, shiny side then would be pointing up. So, step two, I suppose, they're going to take their paint and drizzle it on top of the shaving cream. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can drizzle it, some, some areas can have more, some areas can have less, but you don't want it to be big blobs all over the place. Um, so here's Adam. Oh, and the cobalt is blue. I did it first. <laughs> So then you kind of want to do the same, but not over um, overlap it too much. You want it to have its own space, I guess you can call it. So here's red and blue, and the coal is pink and blue. And they're, they're both using three colors. You don't need to use three, but um, we think three is probably best. Don't use too much more than that, because when you swirl it, you don't want it to turn into a big brown mush. You want to be able to see the color. So now they have all three of their colors onto the shaving cream. They're going to take their craft stick and do their magic. So what you're trying to do is incorporate it into the shaving cream without mixing it together to make a new color. You want to swirl it around so that um, you get a really cool swirled effect when you, when you push your poster down on it. Happy swirls. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. And again, 
there's no right or wrong way to do this. If it starts looking brown, it's wrong. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> if you overdo it, maybe it's, you, you've done it wrong. All right, and when they're through, when, they're, when they think that they've got enough swirling, um, you take the poster board, and what you want to do is press it firmly into the pan. Don't slap it because what will happen is that shaving cream will come up onto you and onto your surface. Um, but make sure that all of the poster board is getting um, a tight fit onto the shaving cream and the paint. You want to make sure that all that surface underneath is getting covered. And then, once they feel that they've got it all covered, comes the fun part. Okay. I'm going to take these out of your way so that when you go to scrape, you've got some room to put it on your tablecloth. What I did was, I have a plastic tablecloth here, um, one that you can throw away to make cleanup super easy, Mom. When they scrape, they're going to scrape right onto the tablecloth, and then when they're done, you can just mush it all up and throw it away. Okay, so here comes the fun part. You want to take your poster board and peel it up off of the shaving cream. Cool! So this is what it looks like. And now they need to take it there. What I'm using is a cardboard here that I cut for them. But really anything like a spatula or anything that's got a stiffer edge that you can take and scrape the paint and the shaving cream off is what you can use. And wait so you see what they come up with. again. So cool. Just a little. Okay, so what we did, oh, look at how cool the fold is. So that's your, that's your end product. Um, we did, we did this project last week so that we could have a finished product for you to show. Because um, this was step one. We have another step that we'd like for you to see. So here's a couple of our ours from last week. And you can really do anything with these. I saw on Pinterest someone cut these up and put it on a just a blank card. And this could be the front of your card. Um, you can use it for anything. If you just like the swirl, put it in a frame and hang it in your room. Um, it's really, really a cool thing. Some of you may end up with something like this. <laughs> I'm not going to say who did this one, but it's okay. It just means that maybe you pushed either too hard or you had a glob of, of something. The good thing about it is you still have a pan that has paint and shaving cream in it. Do it again. Mix it up a little bit more and do it again. As long as you have separation, you can keep doing it for as much post board as you have. So that was step one. What I'd like to do is show you what we um, did with the ones that we did last week. Just maybe something a little bit extra that you might like to do. I, uh, let me get it. Adam. Nicole. So what I did was I sketched a peace sign, um, and I'm using pastels and coloring it in so that I have that really dark black and, and the background, obviously, is what I did last week. You could use crayons, you could use Sharpies. I just happened to have pastels. I thought I'd give that a try. So this is mine. Adam decided 
I don't know what this symbol is, but uh, oh, sure. <laughs> I, I use a stencil. Superman Adam used some cardstock and just cut out a template of the Superman and we'll just glue this to his background. And Nicole, the artist of the three of us, um, decided to sketch hers and she's using paint and just painting hers in. So you've got all kinds of options for making your design. Doesn't take a long time at all. The longest time is letting it dry. So I say start in the morning and by lunchtime you'll have a dry poster board and you can do your creations. Thanks so much for joining us. See you next time.